Daniel was so broken hearted. He walked up those stairs over there, <coughs> where the big light shone, warning ships against the shoals, climbed over the railing, oh, no. and jumped into the sea. How horrible. He must have been a mess. He was never seen again. Not alive, anyway. Since then, people who have come here have been said to heard strange noises. Occasionally, someone singing. And several have seen Daniel. They swear it was him. And they knew him when he was alive. Poor man. And you're still a lousy storyteller, Eddie. It's the truth, so help me. This lighthouse is as empty as that head of yours. There's no ghost here, it's all just... No, it's not. Someone's coming down the stairs. That's crazy. There's no one here. Well, uh, I, I didn't think there was. Then admit it. You just made that ridiculous story up. No, I got it from Miss Kitteridge, the storekeeper's wife. She swears it's true. Hello, somebody there? Oh, please forgive us. We didn't know anybody was here. We we called out. Sure, I really. But you, you must not have heard us. Sandwich? Who are you? What do you want? We didn't mean to intrude. I'm Emily Calloway, and this is my sister, Angela. It's a very good sandwich. Ham, cheese, mama's special dressing. And this is our cousin Eddie, Eddie Thomas. Nice place you got here. Very cozy. If you like being alone, I guess. My name's Daniel. How'd you know? Oh, signed by the door. Daniel Bowman, keeper. We didn't mean to frighten you, Daniel. We'll be on our way now. Yeah, our boat's a dock. No, wait, please, you can stay. I don't get company much, but I have coffee and tea. I can make some. No, no, we, we really do have to get going. Some pretty heavy clouds coming this way. Come on. But I don't want to rush off. If the weather changes, you can stay here. There's plenty of room. Say, that's mighty kind of you, but... But we're going to be too big party tonight. For Emily, in fact. Have you lived here long, Daniel? Long enough. I don't ever recall seeing you in town. Oh, I don't go in much. Miss Kinder has supplies sent over. Don't you get... What do they call it? Island fever? No, I don't have any fever. <laughs> That's just what they call it when people are trapped in such a tiny little space and don't have anything to do all day. Well, I have all my books. You've read all of these? Yeah, Mrs. Skinner always sends me a box of books. They, well, they take me everywhere I've ever wanted to go to make places I never even knew existed. Really? Emily's always got the stuff in her book. I wish you wouldn't put it like that, I just like to read. It's the detriment of your social life, sister dear. I keep warning her if she doesn't snap out of it, she'll end up living in a place like this. <gasps> I'm sorry. <laughs> we just want what's best for Emily. I've heard people say that before, or read it. But who knows what's best for anybody, except for that person alone. What's upstairs, Daniel? The light, and during the day, I like to sit outside and read. I like the sound of the sea in the gulfs. May I see the light? I'm not sure. Emily. Emily, ma'am. But Emily, we've got to get going. Really, we've got to dress for the party. We won't be long, will we? Only as long as we want. But Emily! Emily, get back here!
don't love him, you don't have to marry him.
Emily! There's nobody here. She's dead, Daniel. And it's all your fault. Uh, Emily! We came out here just on the chance. But she's gone. There's nothing to be done now. But she sat right here. This is where I left her. And she said you two were dead. She said you've been swept under. Oh, Angela, pinch me to make sure I'm still alive. Stop it, Eddie. No, I want him to stop it. Emily's gone. We left too late, got caught in the storm, and Emily drowned. End of story. Emily? Come on, Angela. We can't keep, keep Miss Kittredge waiting at the dock. For what it's worth, Daniel, we left. Emily said she'd fallen in love with this place. This place? This place is cursed. Wait, look. It's Emily's. So? She loved it here. She was wearing it when we got in the boat. And her gloves, too. It doesn't matter. She was wearing them when I helped her to the table. They're so wet, Eddie. And they're seaweed tangled. We're through here. Come on, Angela. Eddie, do you think... I don't think. Okay, I won't think. Emily's gone. And I'll never come back to this place again. Daniel, I... Emily! Emily! Can you say goodbye to the slide? Can you say